Miss Bella's being disobedient on purpose. I asked her to get out the bathroom. She said, Mo! Because she says Mo instead of no. And then I said, Get out now, Isabella. And she said, I won't get out. Okay. But yeah, you guys, her eye is worse. So last night, we she woke up at like yeah. 3 34 o'clock and she just couldn't get to sleep uh get back to sleep and i looked over at her on her bed and i noticed that her eye looked exceptionally uh swollen so um i couldn't get a really good look at it because i was still half sleep myself but this morning when she woke up you know to start the day her eye was just completely swollen shut Izzy, Izzy, can you look? What are you doing? Papa. What are you doing? Are you playing in the sink? Yes. Are you supposed to be doing that? Is Izzy supposed to be doing that? I don't think so. Mommy's going to turn off the light now. Bye-bye. Bye. Look what I found sitting on my step. Do you see that feline? Do you see him? Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, no, Izzy, come back. Izzy, come back. And there they go. Hey, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> say have a good day. Good day. Uh -oh, she's still on a daddy kick. Let them see, let's turn on light. So I called my pediatrician because I wasn't sure if we should take her to the pediatrician or to the ophthalmologist they said to go ahead and bring her into the pediatrician and they have walk-in hours starting at one so we are going to get dressed now to head over there so that as soon as one o'clock hits we are one of the first faces they see for walk-in hours i'm just praying that there aren't a whole bunch of sick people there because i hate going into the doctor's office for one illness and leaving with another one you know so we're going to hope that's not the case today is uh isabella johanna is at the aquarium in baltimore do i have this on there Ooh, ooh. <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> johanna is at the aquarium in baltimore with um, my husband she takes homeschool uh classes there once a month and this is the last month i have her signed up for so he took her out there and yeah they should yeah. the class is just an hour if you're in the uh dc maryland area definitely check it out classes are only an hour long and it gives you the chaperone and the child admission to the aquarium which you know is very expensive so the classes are like 15 dollars each not bad and you could just sign up for one class if you want to and like i said it's for one hour you have you can enter i believe starting at uh nine or ten a.m and i want to say it's 10 starting at 10 a.m and you have all of the free time to go and just check out the aquarium so even when she's finished with her class today uh she and her father can go walk around the aquarium and have a good time so and that's what they are doing today and now i need to go put on some clothes to go outside to uh take this child to the pediatrician it's a gorgeous day today it's gorgeous i wish it was like this all the time that is left eye <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so yesterday when she woke up it was kind of puffy and uh we said oh she probably has a sty this morning when she woke up like she's finally able to see out of it she couldn't see at all this morning when she woke up it was completely swollen shut um and it wasn't crusted it was just literally swollen shut so we were like oh okay we should probably take you to the doctors you okay it doesn't bother you does it bother you does it hurt you know does it hurt does i hurt does your eye hurt? She doesn't touch it at all. Unless we. Unless we're going towards her. We say, oh, your eye. And she's like. <laughs> but other, yeah, otherwise. Mm -mm. Someone is having a really hard time at the doctor's office today. Someone does not even want to take off their jacket. 
So. You okay? FYI, all you IUGR moms um, that may watch me because you know that Isabella is IUGR. She is 24 pounds exactly according to their scale today. Uh-uh, don't put that on there. Uh-uh, you got to hold it. So 24 pounds exactly and she's two years old. She turned two in September. She, on her birthday, she was like 22 pounds and some change. So she's now 24. Just FYI, in case you're wondering, this is why it's hard to buy clothes for her because she gains weight so slowly and one sickness causes her to have a complete setback. I'm sorry, their blinds are down and the sun is doing its thing and everything. But um, so yeah. It's hard to buy her clothes. A lot of people want to buy her two T and she can wear two T shirts, but she cannot wear two T pants. Her waist is still like a 12 month, like, yeah, it's like size 12 months for her waist. Uh, she can't even do, she maybe can do 12 to 18 if it has the drawstrings in it. She definitely cannot just do straight up 18 or 24. It's just too big for her waist. So she could do 18 if Again, it has the, the draw string things inside to adjust, the adjustable waist. If it has the adjustable waist, then she can do 18 months because I can pull it really tight, tight. But then the pants are too short. She is 2T in pants as far as length. But as far as her waist, she's still like a 12 month old. Yeah, that's very easy. Not. She, yeah, she doesn't rub them at all. Okay. All right, so it's a less swollen now than a little less than, than was yesterday. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's doubled in size since yesterday. Since okay. this morning, it's gone down a little bit. Okay. Because this morning it was completely swollen, okay. shut. Like she couldn't even look out of it at, okay. at all. Mommy. Okay, and it's just her left eye. Yes. No Right, I don't see any crusting, I don't see any mucus, I don't see any discharge. Yes, and you said she's opening it up a little bit more now. So yeah, I can see the redness and I can see the swelling and the yeah. ear too. But the upper eyelid is more swollen than yeah. the lower. Yeah, so definitely a periorbital cellulitis. Again, a soft tissue infection of the skin and that's treated with antibiotics. We could see her back in 48 hours just to make sure that she is improving because sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. If it's getting worse, then we have her see the ophthalmologist right away. If she's improving and responding to the antibiotic, then we just finish out the course and that's it. Okay. So we can have her, but yeah, there she goes. I saw her just rubbing. Yeah, it's so tough to discourage in a child this age, but just frequent hand washing to keep her hands clean. Mm -hmm. Good luck. <laughs> You know, they're touching, feeling, you know, hands for everything. Yeah, so, you know, do the best you can. Um, questions? Not so much about that. Um, well, actually, I do have a question about that. So, if it gets worse, what exactly would the ophthalmologist do as opposed to? Um, sometimes we do CT scans to make sure it's not affecting the orbit where it becomes an orbital cellulitis. So, the infection is tracking on the inside and going to the brain. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, so that would be the worst case scenario okay. where she goes to the emergency room and a CT scan is done. And those kids, we admit them for IV antibiotics okay. as opposed to oral. Quickly, mm -hmm. yeah, quickly yeah. treat the infection yeah. to prevent it from spreading okay. throughout the body. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go ahead and put her on. I would do augmentins to something more broad yep. spectrum. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's twice a day for 10 days. Okay. Augmentin can cause, um, yeah, she's had it before, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, so you can start some probiotics every day, okay. and that decreases the chances of her getting diarrhea. Mm, it's over the counter. Over -counter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, so can I have some cultural sprinkles, please? One packet. Thank you. Um, my other question was because we were supposed to bring her. Every time we're supposed to bring her, she gets sick. This child gets sick so much. Um, mm -hmm. For blood tests. Mm -hmm. For, they wanted to test for, I don't know, you'll see it in her chart. Mm -hmm. Like, 
the orders. Five different things yes. or something. Yeah. But literally every single time I was like, oh, next week I'm gonna take you yeah. to get tested. It's like, oh, you're sick. Again. Well, she doesn't have a fever though, so that would be no contraindication to the blood work that's um oh thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a cultural that comes in the sprinkles. Okay. There's okay. a coupon in there as well. Oh, awesome. So you can sprinkle it over food or a juice. Okay. Yeah, so the order is here, so no, it's not gonna affect any of these that need to. So we're checking her liver, kidneys, the lead, the sickle cell test and her R levels. No, would you do it today or oh if you can do it today? Like yes, the lab corp is here. Yeah, we can just get that. Okay. Uh, All right. At first grade. Yes. Today. Yes and today and so so angry, yes. <laughs> and tomorrow will be a better day. You know, like, I like your spirit. So as you heard, it is a an affection that she has, and they are going to give us give us a prescription for augmentum, augment. You know. The thing, the antibiotic. <laughs> they want to give us a prescription for that. And the infection is on the outside of her eye, not the inside. And they want to catch it before it does get to the inside. So, yeah. And we just had her height checked. So she's around 34 inches, maybe more. But we couldn't really um, get it fully because she didn't want the thing to touch her. So, yeah, there you go. You guys. My daughter is a beast, okay? Let me just tell you that. Isabella has had a spinal tap and a blood drawn and all of that. Um, that happened early on in life when she was like two months old. But today, she had blood drawn, six vials of blood. And can I tell you she did not cry? The lady put the needle in and not a peep. Not a... <gasps> nothing not one single cry and she did absolutely fantastic she got restless around vial four because she was just like look now you you need to back up off my arm you're making me keep it straight i don't like that but she did fantastic no crying she's back there eating her lollipop and i'm about to go feed her and pick up her medication yeah it has been a long morning so we are going to go ahead and end the vlog here plus my battery is dying anyway so that's that we're gonna end the vlog here sorry it has not been very christmasy yet i promise we do have some christmas events coming up but yeah we have other things going on when this play with johanna is done i feel like then i can really get on with life and and do more family things this play is like sucking the life out of us her rehearsals from six to nine and all of that is just you know once the school day is over she has to be prepared to go to her play rehearsal. So it's just, it's a lot. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. Oh, and also I will put the name of whatever the infection is that is going on with Isabel's eye down here somewhere because I still can't remember the name of it. Sorry. All right, see you guys later. Bye.